okay? Were you okay? All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? <laughs> you feel it all right there, mister? Look like... Ah, how about this? I'll repeat the question for you, okay? In Indian mythology that embodies... Now remember, it's that... That's the answer button for the quiz. Why don't you press it? Tama, you mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry, or the other teams are gonna... There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is... That is correct! The answer is Gandharva. Team Popo gets 10 points for the correct answer. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question is for the person on the other side. Oh, who what? The question is, well, easy, right? This is the Faith to Face Special, a six-hour quiz show live. Have you? Hurry now, you're at... You think so? Seems like a normal... Yes. Yes? The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryu. They're for you. On the other side. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do... I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings. The incident in which many victims got their... Thank you. I'm glad you answered truthfully. There are all sorts of things in this world. You're better off not knowing. Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be... Are you ready? A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the people. But these precognitive dreams, are they really, truly real?
It can't be. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock, distance of 315 feet, in the middle row of seats. It's a device that records the it can display time and increments of focus. We've got more important things to deal with. You're the one who inspected it. What the are they really gonna shoot us without warning like that? It would have been stranger if they announced their intentions first. Who's the target? Where are they? It's too dark and they're too far away. Calm down, Mizuki. You can use my functions. Functions? Remember your training? Oh, right. Iva, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. I don't see anyone. Hmm. Use the x-ray next. Understood. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I am fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming medical. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it! What's with this girl? go now detecting the target's footsteps they seem to be heading toward the stadium exit Ugh, can't let them get away mizuki wait 
Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... There's... something there. Yes. Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... The... His name is Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Devita, the... right half of his body. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Boss, where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the stratum corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, um, yeah. All right, now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go, next question. Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the light! Yeah, I'm on it! I do know I'm the commander of this, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case, she is referring to the half-body serial killings, so named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Of course not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sakiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a sinker. 
I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. And has been missing ever since. Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Ugh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine. But promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky. Or rose up from the ground. Or they teleported here. Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it serious. Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that case, how's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. Wow, I'm honored that you'd ask. My name is Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? It's nice to meet you, Kagami. I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um, sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. In a good way? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. It's Kagami. Kagami. I told you it's Kagami! Haven't found anything yet. 
Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints. Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? What? You really don't know? I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. I don't even have to ask about you. Yamizuki Okiura, 18 years old, a high schooler attending Sakiba High. Ah. Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent, Oedipus. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Time sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. It changed my life forever. So that's why I came. Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock, so that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. got killed six years ago, but the body shows up now? Nah, the lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. Oh, no. I just started investigating, really.
You wanted to see me that badly? I've been thinking about studying ninjutsu to prepare for my future. Let's change up the mood. Good on Tama. If it if it looks good on t <laughs> worried about money. Huh? Do you really even have any worries? Huh. Why did you come here if you have no worries I could advise you on? Uh, oh, I see. You wanted to see me, hmm? That is nice. If you have any other worries, you should come back here. I will give you better answers than you expect. Bye for now. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. There is hardly any blood. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. Definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah, the same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Yeah. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Devita, and now, his left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today, which means that half his body was alive very recently. <sighs> what the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. 
Iva? Hold on, did Iva just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half-body was definitely alive until just recently. I, of course, did consider it a possibility, but both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No, there are no traces of that. And... Were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? I have no idea what's going on, but this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. How much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. problems, a brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So, she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Hmm, well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. Freight? 
to free? Fray can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. Please! Don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly a sound of mind right now. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe. Uh, we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here? It's possible, right? No? Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurita Ryuki, to when due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Roz. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... You don't have to explain it! I... His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang which is under the Ujisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being... peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Oh, you mean Chimpei? Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members, until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Twitter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful, inspiring in a way. I'm just an inspector. Why would you want to know my name? We're both going after the culprit together. I'd like to get to know you. Wow, what an honor coming from someone from Abyss. My name is Kagami. I see. Kagami. Got it. It's Kagami. K. A. G. A. M. I. My name is Kagami. I told you. Well. What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. So? So? Well, you... You could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. A anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. 
The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result, leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furway, 29 years old. The CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He is also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see it from here, so... Here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region, near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Kamechi, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh! And I suppose you can do better, asshole! What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. And here you are, just... Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right. Faith to Face, our special six-hour live stream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the camera should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is shocked right now. The 
they're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. Sagan. I was introduced before the show started. She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. Jeez. Does she look okay to you? I already talked to the other detective. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now, pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. Of course. Jin Furue, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. What? This iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave any- That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. QR code. The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Ryuki, I've got a connection. The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. wrong, Ryuki? Um, are you okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, it's Brahmin. You are familiar with it? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. Jin Furoe's other half was found, the other side of his corpse, the one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? How should I know? Should we try wink sinking? Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery. Come on, Ryuki. Hey, I... <laughs> Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Denny, being this man? Full name, Gen Ishiagane. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. Yeah, Genny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. Where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Ryuki, please, tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, 
Maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Miyuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. He is quite intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help, for his own sake too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. Isn't it obvious? I'll sink with him. Oh, look! Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. I suspect Date would have woken up in... Come on, big brother! Wake up! Wake up! If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late! He's awake? Nurse, put some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. 